Good morning, everyone. Um, so today is Friday and I'm having a great day so far. It's a very exciting day too because it's my 26th birthday. So I decided I was going to a vlog today and like the whole day and yeah, basically just try to make this like the most extra day possible that's the plan really so i just got out of the shower as you can tell need to do my hair today and then i also made myself a little iced coffee so i went to bed really late or really early and woke up really early and have just had the like nicest morning in bed and i opened up all the windows so i could like see i actually woke up before it was bright outside which is never happens so it was really nice to like see the light come in and yeah, such a nice treat on my birthday. I know that's like a weird thing, but I feel like it was kind of like a treat, you know, to like just wake up early. Um, also, I wanted to show you, and you can't really tell now, but the lighting in my living room is so gorgeous in the morning. Um, from like 7 to 8 a.m., the light shines from the east, like when the sun is rising through this tiny little window in our living room, which is usually very dark. And it actually, it hits along the outline of this like archway and it's just gorgeous you can actually see it a lot more through the camera but i love seeing that when i can wake up early enough to yeah have to wake up at like seven which is early for me morning light is like so soothing to me drink my iced coffee and do my hair and probably watch like a youtube video i say one youtube video it will be like five because it takes me a long time even with my hair this short so yeah let's get this birthday vlog started Just finished my hair, did some makeup, and then I put on this dress, which is just, it's a, one of my favorite dresses actually, but I hardly ever wear it because it's like a maxi dress and just a little bit extra, but I thought today is the perfect day. So I'll show you guys that now. Here it is. I bought this like a couple of years ago, I think at Zara actually, and I just love it. it. Has like really cute like piping detail. It's quite um quite like fall wintery, especially with the length. I actually wore this to my friend's wedding, which was in October, and I just really love it. It's so like wide too, like the skirt part of it. And it buttons all the way down, so I can do like a little slip, change it up. But obviously I love like a black polka dot print. Here's a better look at like the piping that's around the sleeves and on the collar. Yeah, just super cute. And a little Peter Pan collar too. I've got my Miss Soma necklace on that I wear almost every day. And then I also put on this Misery Taurus Constellation necklace because, you know, why not? Taurus season. Um, and have little jewelry earrings as well. Just made myself a little everything bagel. And I'm currently um, posting some things on Instagram. I did a Fashion Revolution Week um, IGTV video with Ecolux Fashion and Teresa Miniero. I think that's how you say her name. Uh, where they invited me to tell my love story about an item of clothing in my closet. So that was super fun to shoot and it just went up on IGTV today. So yeah, um, I'll link that in the description if you want to watch that one. And then there's a bunch of other people who did it as well. So I've just been watching those now and they're super sweet and so fun to watch. Anyways, yeah, not by having a very productive day today, but I don't have too much to do because Tuesday I like did a ton of filming, photos and everything so that I could kind of 
just getting chill today. <laughs> I'm currently just procrastinating a lot, so I just spent like 10 minutes rearranging these pillows but on the sofa, but I actually really like how it looks now. I think it's kind of cute with like the pink and the uh, like seafoam green little palette here. These two are both like textured white and black. And then this one I've had there for a while, it perfectly matches that thrill. I just switched them out with some of the pillows in the bedroom because we have this blanket on the bed which is a really nice Pendleton blanket for my brother um but like the color scheme it's quite uh what's the word kind of outdoorsy almost I like how it looks with the rug and so I moved this like really graphic looking pillow I'm sure you've seen that one before <laughs> I feel like everybody owns this Ikea pillow um and then with the two yellow matches kind of with the yellow in there so I don't know it doesn't match this side of the room though which has like all the pinkish things so it's now the um, evening Kyle is back and we decided we we're going to um, do like gifts and cake and stuff he's watching a skate video in the background I wanted to make a little April spritz um, and yeah I'll show you how I did that I've been drinking some for the past like week or so and they're really good and it also is really hot here now it's like 80 degrees so it kind of feels like summer anyways so yeah let's go make some Aperol so I've been using like three ounces roughly of Aperol actually I'm gonna do two And then the equal part of Prosecco, I believe. I guess that was a lot of pepper, actually. Mm. I don't know if this is right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cheese. A nice little spread here. And a little cheese plate. Giant organic strawberries somehow organic um, and then a key lime pie So excited to eat this it looks so good got some sushi for delivery I'm gonna eat this now. I got the um, What is this rainbow roll? Kyle got the black magic roll with eel on it looks pretty good just did a little FaceTime with my mom talked to my family and now Kyle and I, we still need to eat the cake actually. <laughs> um, we're just gonna chill though, probably watch something on TV, maybe some Sex in the City, which we've been watching a lot lately. I didn't do a very good job vlogging today, but whatever. Yeah, it was relaxing though. Time to cut the cake. Such a cute little cake. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, happy. Not too big. <laughs> Quite not. Perfect. <laughs> Hello everyone. It's Saturday and just here at home having a very relaxed day, but the apartment is feeling really good right now. We have the windows open, it's really sunny and warm outside. I wanted to just give you guys a little walk through so you can see what it's like. Here's the dining room. Usually these are up. And my little plant cart. It used to be a bar cart. It's actually really a cute piece that was one of the first things we bought when we moved into this apartment. Um, vintage piece. And this beautiful fiddly fig tree that's just loving this little corner here. Then the living room. Oh. I've just been sitting here doing some work on my computer work kind of it's Saturday not really that much work happening um, this West Elm chair and all of our pillows I showed you yesterday actually some surfboards music stuff like guitar cases or Kyle's and this West Elm rug that I love but it sheds a lot um, the sofa we got from a San Diego or like a California company called uh, 
living spaces. It was really affordable and it's a really nice sofa. That's a really old um, piece over here that used, has belonged to Kyle for a long time. Just put it in the corner there. It's a bit crowded over here, but I don't really know what to do right now to change it. So, And then I have this chair that I bought on OfferUp. It's green, yes. A green, uh, what is this called? Green wishbone chair. We've just been putting our masks on it. Looks kind of messy over here. I need to clean that up. And this is our little bookcase from Ikea. We've got records here, books, and the record player on top. And a little gallery wall here with some old prints that I've had for a long time. This one I actually just got for my birthday, so thanks, Mom. Um, this one's new from... where is that one from? I think it was Decenio? No, this one is... Yeah, I think that one's new from Decenio. New-ish. I've had it for a few months now. From Decenio. The rest are old pieces that we got from friends. Um, this is really cool. It's like an old... Uh, what is this? It's an old handkerchief and it's also a map of Japan. My mom got it when she was there. So I just put it in vintage frames. All of these are vintage frames except for this one. It's from Ikea. And then we leave our bikes here right now because um, that's just the only space we have for them. So they're kind of like near the door, separate from our living room. Not ideal, but works for now. And this little built-in bookcase we have. Kind of messy. Oh, and this one that I kind of styled a little, but to do that for all of them really sort through those books a little bit more. I have like a hall closet and this is our bathroom you guys have seen that and then this is our bedroom that is just so like filled with light right now. It feels really nice and it feels really nice in here. The sheets are kind of messy. <laughs> I need to fix these. This print is from Jan Skaslik who I've talked about it before so I think this might go on the wall next to my new Hotel Magic print probably in the living room and closets mirror from Ikea yeah oh, yeah and then the dresser and our big uh, Monstera right here these two prints are from Desenio this is a new leaf isn't that glorious it's so big so big <laughs> This is sun dried um, like wheat. That I think it's wheat. Or I got these from a florist, a local florist in San Diego. I can't wait to go back to their store to get more. These ones got kind of droopy. And yeah, I'm just having a very relaxed day today. Kyla's out skateboarding right now, and I'm just gonna sit here, chill on my computer, watch videos, and relax and take it really easy today. So 